Hi, my name is AJ Elliott. I'm a graduate student here at Stevens Institute. We're actually standing in what we're calling the Sure House, which is Stevens' uh, entry into the Solar Decathlon 2015 competition. So Sure stands for Sustainable Plus Resilient. And this competition is focused on solar and we're bringing this resilient aspect to it. We actually have 60 students involved, ranging from all the various disciplines here at Stevens that are contributing on the engineering end, the communications end, the architecture end. The initial concepts for SureHouse came about when we were building for our last home uh, in 2013 Solar Decathlon competition. And around that time is when Hurricane Sandy hit and really ravaged the Northeast as a whole. So we wanted to respond to that with a home that could both survive a uh, hurricane, but then also be 100% solar powered and use 90% less energy than what a typical New Jersey home of the same size would use. Hi, I'm Chris Ham. I'm the construction manager here on the Sure House project. This, this is a prototype for coastal, coastal buildings. So we want to be able to introduce a, an idea for a house that doesn't have to be lifted 10 feet off the ground. So we're trying to build a house that is flood proof up to uh, base flood elevation. But also we're um, trying to meet the passive house standard. This is, a, this is a two by six wall assembly. We start with our um, one and a quarter inches of Roxel Comfort Board IS. Then we have our eighth inch of ABS flood sheathing, which is connected to our uh, 7 16 inch zip sheathing. Then we have our two by six wall assembly, which is filled with uh, Roxel Comfort Bat. This is our Intello. This, this is our um, air barrier on the interior of our house. Um, and we're, we're using this all around the entire interior of our exterior walls. And then on the inside, we have our two and a half inch um, service cavity that is filled with two and a half inches of rock salt comfort bat, giving us about an R R37 wall. Even though we could have gotten a higher R value with um, spray foam, uh, we figured it would make much more sense to use the rock salt um, working in combination with our Intello and our um, Vana Proclima system because of the fact that it's vapor open. Um, so what this is is basically just an ABS plastic um, that we are attaching to the um, zip sheathing on the exterior of the house. Really what we're building is, is like a boat hull. Uh, we have the same exact material actually on the underside of the house, adhered to the underside of the house, um, forming a completely continuous watertight membrane. So here you can see the um, inside of our floor cavity. From the exterior to interior, we have first our eighth inch of our floodproof sheathing on top of our three quarter inches of our Advantech tongue and groove sheathing. Uh, then we have our uh, TJI joist floor that's filled with seven and a half inches of Roxol Comfort Bat. And then on top of that is another layer of Advantech sheathing, uh, which is actually acting as our air barrier for the inside of the house. Um, and then on top of that is our finished floor. We use um, Simpson Strong Tie Hurricane Clips um, joist hangers on all of our TJIs to be able to withstand the buoyancy forces of a flood. So for all of our ceiling penetrations, we're using um, the Roflex gaskets. Uh, here, this is our exhaust for our ERV actually. So here is actually an exterior entry into our bathroom. And this is actually the shower drain right in front of the entry. And the point of this is that this can actually double as both an interior shower and a sort of exterior shower because this is this house is meant for the Jersey Shore. And so you can come home from the beach, come off of the south deck, which is going to extend right outside past this door, and you can come straight into the shower and um, you know wash the sand off your feet and whatnot. Um, it actually is a one large penetration into our air barrier. Um, and so it's we don't have the pan in yet, but it actually is gonna require um, an entire air sealing detail to itself. And so we're here in New Jersey, we have to transport it to Irvine, California in September. Um, this, this house is being split into three modules. So this is right here is actually one of the module seams. Um, and that actually continues into this beam right above me. This is a, a, actually two beams that are bolted together. And so that presents a lot of uh, interesting issues with regard to air sealing. So what we've done up at this juncture is we've actually sealed completely around the beam. Um, we actually had to install these hurricane clips for our shore environment. And so we made sure to tape before putting those hurricane clips in to you know, try and maintain that airtight seal. Um, taping over top of them would have been a huge pain. On top, the Intello that runs above it is actually two pieces taped to the top of each beam. 
because we don't have access to that to above that anymore so we couldn't cut it since all of the TJIs are resting on top of it. So uh, what we are going to have to do is seal the bottom of the beam, cut it when we transport the house, and then reseal it when, we, when, we, when it's in its final location. So in front of me is going to be 13 feet of decking, uh, which is going to really extend this living space. In these spaces right here is going to be our big Shuko lift and slide um, sliding doors. In front of those sliding doors, we have these steel columns that we are using because, um, because of our flood shutters that are gonna be above me. These are gonna provide shading during the summer and they are also able to close down and seal onto the steel structure of the house, creating a watertight seal and also protecting the windows in the event of a flood or a storm. On top of this, there's actually gonna be uh, PV panels. And specifically, these PV panels are very storm resistant. Uh, they can take high velocity projectiles, uh, but also they're connected into our hot water tank, directly into our hot water tank. There's no inverter or anything. It's just connected to a uh, coil that is right in the hot water tank. So we can use direct sunlight to heat our hot water without having fragile solar thermal tubes on top of our house. SureHouse really focuses on those three core principles, 90% less energy use, 100% uh, solar powered, and being flood resilient.